other one which is a free to back the deck review today we're looking at the latest from Usai sort of it's basically a reprint it's the Pagan Ivory second edition let's check it out all right this is the new Pagan Ivory deck I'm calling it the V2 it's the um, Whisk of a Lima edition because of the Whisk of the Lima you see here front end. hope I'm pronouncing it correctly it's a nice tuck case with some foil and embossing nice repeating pattern onto the sides and the top the bottom a little ad copy was by Usi Usai I really pronounce pronounced it put about expert playing cards and in the back same as the front nice custom stamp seal pagan by Usi exclusive still available on the website last I checked and uh, by the time this video is up, it might be sold out, more than likely. The inside, the brown is colored. And as I mentioned, there's a thousand decks printed, that's why it might be sold out. However, they're a little bit pricey. I thought they were pretty pricey, was it 30 or 35 bucks plus shipping for a deck? It's not overly limited and it's pretty much just a reprint of a previous deck with a different tuck case because cards are the same really uh, aside from my 50 woods that was printed by USB-C so there's a couple less cards probably um to mention this symbol you see is an ancient pagan symbol this one right here which represents the lima which is the Baltic pagan goddess of luck and fate and also beauty and magic so it's kind of a whole bunch of goodness into one I guess <laughs> it is printed on a premium stock and a linen finish by extra point cards and tuck is supposed to have a heavy stock to it I guess it's fine so the jokers all sorts of paganism going on this one's got kind of red floral elements in the corners this one's darker color is a back design full bleed borderless from as I can tell I'm trying to see I can't recall yeah I would say that's Mary Evans the ace of spades says Peggy my Usi with tree stump and a skull Ace of Hearts has kind of a reef around it, as do the other aces. And this one says, manufactured by Expert Playing Card Company underneath it. Looks like a dead reef <laughs> compared to the other ones. And, um, yeah. Court cards, completely custom, very interesting. I would say original, except that it's, as far as I know, the same artwork as the previous deck or previous decks I should say that they put out but been a while since I looked at them so I couldn't say 100% for certain it's exactly the same and nice number of cards slightly customized pips there's also a slight um, you know, weathering to the cards on the faces at least. And yeah, pretty nice deck. Completely custom. Handles very nicely. I like it. Very nice. I don't know why it's popping out the bottom. <laughs> I will give it. A, maybe an A minus, just because feels like it's overpriced just a bit. I know it's only a thousand printed, so it's a little bit limited, but really, it's just a different tuck case from before. So that is that, as, as far as I know. Anyways, so that is that. Comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you next time. Or check out their website, link in the description, and yeah, see you next time. Thanks for watching.